which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> I hit it pretty hard. <laughs> That's because you guys always shock me. Like the minute it turns seven o'clock, everybody's like standing up. <laughs> no, t no break time. No. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Let me Thank read this. Figure out a solution. Can you do that? Cover it when I do it, maybe? Yes, sir. Well, if you didn't have to have it beside you, well, that's kind of a good idea. Are we on? I fell off the stand and my hand is between the end and the end. All right. Roll call, please. Beichmann. Present. B. Singer. Moss. Present. Ekis. Present. Fry. Present. Gross. Present. Schroeder. Present. Trump. Present. We have a quorum. All right, and Bill is recovering from surgery, so we can all say a prayer for Bill as he gets better. He's supposed to be home tomorrow. So the first <laughs> item of business is the approval of minutes from the May 8th meeting. I only had one, actually it's just a typo, on the first page of the minutes. Siding should start with a C, and that was my only change. Did anybody have anything else? It's a correction rather than an amendment, I guess. Anything else? Move to approve the minutes of the regular meeting, May 8, 2017, as presented with a typo correction. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 7 0. The first item is public comments. If you are not on the agenda, you're welcome to come to the podium and talk for five minutes. Give your name, ward, and your address. <laughs> All right, we'll move along to business and discussion <coughs> items. The first one is a pool pass request by AmeriCorp Core. AmeriCorps. And um, I, I have the names at home for these 11 to 12 workers, but they were um, just hoping to give these people pool passes at the end of their day. Any thoughts? I move that we uh, give pool passes passes to the AmeriCorps while they're working at the food pantry. Second. Any discussion? Discussion. <laughs> All right. Um, <coughs> when we built this pool, we built it for our kids and families. And we give away pool passes to people that don't live here. <coughs> we require payment by the families that live here to use that pool. But then we give away pool passes. And this, this adds up to $500. Uh, for the for for ten pool for what ten pool passes? But we're giving it to people who are volunteering for our community. I mean that's about as good of a reason to give some away as ever, is it? Well, we also give away free on Fourth of July, which I'm good with that because the kids here get to use it. But we also give it away to the people that use our pool uh, on opportune times when we could be making money with the pool. We give it away. That's well, this, my only point. So here's this group is will be staying at Lincoln Center, staying on cots, <coughs> maybe air mattresses, sleeping bags. It, it's more like rewarding them for helping our mm -hmm. community. It's, it's we're not they're not going to buy it otherwise. They're volunteers. I mean, this, this isn't a money making. Well, they're only here for ten days. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they'll even use That's the pool every day. Well, I, it's I not five hundred dollars because it's not like we're going to see the money. Otherwise, they just won't get the benefit. This That's way, we true. show we care. That's true. It's just that we give it away, and and I don't see where our kids ever get benefits like that. <coughs> well, I, I believe in the policy. It says that they um, have free swim days on Wednesday, so that our kids get the benefit there. Yep. Okay, that's good with me, but when we have a chance to make money from people coming from out of town to use a facility, <coughs> that's when we're giving away. Like the big blue barbecue people, <coughs> we give it away to them. Okay, and uh, well, on, on this one, I did um, call Pastor Dale and ask him. I said, um, "Do they get paid?" And he said, "They get a nominal stipend." I was an AmeriCorps Vista volunteer, so oh, I know how were? much it is. So it's, nominal it's like, is yeah, it's like I think three hundred dollars for a month. And that's supposed to include all your food and everything for a month, living expenses, bills. 
but it doesn't go very far. <laughs> so it's a it's a very small price, but we, I mean we and we do have a couple of pool free pool days for our kids per year. Or so, well, I, I would like to establish a policy of some kind of uh, what we're going to give away and what we expect payment for. I mean, because as I'm looking at this. Um, Somebody could have donated, they could have asked for donations for someone to pay for the passes, you know, instead of coming to the city and asking. And I don't want to be miserly about it, but I'm thinking about the people who use the pool and pay taxes to use the pool. And how generous can we afford to be if, just how generous we can afford to be. <coughs> or we maybe, want to or maybe be. you want to come back to the council with a proposal of a policy to use going forward and we can discuss it. Okay, I would like that. Okay, so we have a motion to approve the passes and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. 6-1. All right, the next item is from the uh, Chamber of Commerce. Brenda, do you want to come share? <coughs> Hello, I'm Brenda Stagenborg with the Marysville Chamber of Commerce. Um, you should have all gotten a letter from me. Um, we'll start at the top of it. Uh, Fourth of July is coming up and we there are several organizations planning different activities throughout the day, all day long. Um, this chamber would like to have an ice cream social up at Lakeview Sports Complex. I have already spoke with uh, Brian Froggle and he's okay with us using the, the uh, concession stand. Um, with your permission we go ahead and like to also use the, the park and the concession stand and we would also request to be able to use a gator so that we can make our ice cream social mobile. There's a lot of people that will come up to watch the fireworks and they'll park at the top of the hill and not come down into the park. We thought we could just maybe go up there and sell some ice cream and drinks to them, popcorn and, and such. So um, that would be the second part of my request um, for the 4th of July. And then also in the past the city has always had free swimming on the 4th of July. Um, and we were wondering if you would do that again so we would include it on our flyer if you would, if you did. I think that was everything for the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. The gator, would that be just on the street and not actually down? Yeah, we would complex? take it, yeah, we would load it up by the concession stand and take it up oh, up to the top okay. for, the, for the people I that aren't coming down in. Would it be possible to use a golf cart instead of a gator? Because mm -hmm. the, I, I'm always worried about a little two, three year old because they can dart off so quickly. Gators well, we definitely wouldn't high. be going fast. It would be in a I don't know a lot about golf carts. If we have a golf cart that would... They're, they're not... You want to use a city's golf cart? You want to use a city's gator? Yes. Parks and oh, Rex. I, I thought you were had somebody who had... Well, we have not found one yet, but we uh, we figured we would find one. Somewhere I mean, yeah. I, we've got to be able to hold a cooler for ice cream and such, so... My, my concern as much would be that it would be contained to who was driving it and that oh, it yes. wasn't being just cruised around. Oh, no, I'm no, not no. saying you would cruise around, no. but you get sometimes these events where... It yeah. ends up being just a, a, some people enjoy cruising around being the big deal. But the plan <laughs> is we're, we're probably 7.30 to 9.30 and we'll probably just have one person be in charge of the gator. They will go up and back and that's it. That's it. So Somebody they'll, probably the only time board? they'll come back down is if they run out of ice cream and need to re... Chamber board? <coughs> yes, one of our board members, yeah. Jaden, you'll be in charge of the ice cream. Um, Are you responsible on a gator? Can I we trust... It. I, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, Brenda, are you all going to put out extra trash cans? I thought it was going to be ice cream. I didn't know you were going to sell drinks and popcorn, so that means trash on the ground. Are you um, going to put trash cans out? or Are there are trash cans up? up there already? No, not very many. No. Not very many? Not okay, I'm sure we can top higher not, level. Not, 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 not on the top. I'm sure we can get a couple from Temps. I'm sure she'll be. Is, it, is there a strobe on the gator? Is there mm. what? I think we should, no, I don't if think we do so. this, I think we should have one on it. Just a removable one with a magnet. Yeah, do, do we have one of those? Yeah, for street, for street department. Uh, they they did used to have one just on a the truck. I'm not sure on. that they, we, if they still do, but they did have sure. a magnet. I used to have one. I think we should have one on it. If we do oh, that's about it. night, since it will, it will be dark. Well, it's good advertising. Well, you people see it. You won't, a be, doing, light. You won't oh. be doing it after the dark, though, right? 7.30 yeah. to 9.30. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it'll, 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 be, it'll, be, it'll be, yeah, right, because we'll probably it'll end right before the dark. fireworks yeah. start. Okay, you'll try to find a strobe, too, as well. Or you can yeah, put a mirror ball up there if you want. You're going to see if you have one. Okay. I'll check back to City Hall and see in the next week or so and see if you guys have one. Yeah, I think the street department. I'm sure we come up. With we'll check. Yeah. 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 So, so it's removable. I know, I know we did buy one with yeah. Okay, is there a motion? <coughs> is there a motion? 
Move approved. Mary's a Chamber of Commerce request for the 4th of July for the activities planned, the concession stand at Lakeview and the Gator, the ice cream, and the free pool passes. Is there a second? Second. second. Free Any swimming, first? sorry. Not from the past. Yeah, free well. pool. Free, free swimming. Free swimming okay. swim day. One day. Okay. Is there any <laughs> further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 7 0. And Brendan, I just sent an email to uh, Brian Froggle mm -hmm. asking him if he'd look into having maybe a pickleball <coughs> tournament. You know, he bought that pickleball equipment. I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. And I thought it'd be kind of cool if we could. And so I would expect all the council to participate in the demonstration. <laughs> I have never played it myself, but I figured no it's just, all you have to do is have hand eye coordination. So, of course, you are injured. Hilarious, so. man. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to see if we can do that just to have another activity and, you know, kind of introduce it to the community. Okay. Mayor, okay. I wonder if, with the gate, if we allow, since we allow the gator, if we, someone could walk alongside of the gator at all times. I'm really concerned about the safety. Kids. Okay. We're not going to be going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and we will definitely go slow and watch for well, kids. Well, I just know how quickly my little three-year-old great-grandson <coughs> can dart. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean... And to be honest with you, Darlene, a golf cart could go just as fast as a gator. But well, they're yeah, a little bit smaller. Yes, I understand the only thing that. Is they're lower to the ground. Right. Yeah. You can Lower's see better. better. Um, but we, yeah, we will take all precautions and definitely go slow. So. Okay. Maybe Jada can find somebody to help her. I mean, we'll have several people up there. You know. So. We'll, There's no way one person. Yeah. Drive and scoop ice cream. So right. Be. You think there'll be two? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, the other. Um, not on the 4th of July. Did you vote on that already? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, you guys should have all last month received our first quarter report uh, concerning the visitor center. Um, I apologize I didn't get here sooner, but about that time I had a granddaughter and I went out of town and, and such. So I'm finally getting here to see if you have any questions, I can sure answer them. I think that the, um, there was going to be a meeting between the chamber and the convention and tourism go over it as well. So. Did you guys have any specific questions for Brenda about it? Yeah, you're, you're I have a question. I know that we had talked earlier about um, when we got a tourism uh, director that uh, expenses of the Marysville Chamber of Commerce would be split with the county. Are they picking up half the half of the price here for the um, for a product? Or we haven't talked about that. You buying product to sell? Oh, are you you're talking about the Fourth of July now? No, I'm talking about any time. I'm talking about I'm talking about this letter right here, May 18th letter, and she's got Fourth of July in here, but uh -huh. it's also the same one that's got the uh, uh, the ice cream social thing. So okay, so are you are you, ask, are you addressing the last paragraph about the quarterly report? No, no. Tell me again what you're as specific. Okay. The product they are going to sell the, or at the ice cream social, the drinks, the ice cream, the popcorn. It's a chamber event. It's a chamber. The, cha the, cha the chamber is picking up all it's that It's a chamber cost. event, yeah. not a, si okay. a so city. Okay, so Marysville person. picks up none of it. I want no. to see no. No, no, no. appropriations. No, no, no. Uh -uh. It's all a chamber of commerce event. We're okay. just providing a gator and use of the concession stand. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks All so right. much. You're welcome. Thank you. I was like, I don't think I understand the question. <laughs> okay, Rich, you're up. Good evening. Good evening. So pages 8 through 10 in your agenda is why I'm here. Uh, the fire department would like permission to get a new tool. I brought it with me tonight. I can turn it on and pass it around. You guys can take a look at it. The Argus clear unit, and no, you can't use it for deer hunting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, got a little update today. They've changed the warning on it. It's five year battery, five year camera, and 10 year for the sensor. The sensor is the most expensive part of it because it's laid in gold. Um, Carla was at our meeting the other night and they kind of seen it in action over there when the, uh, the Danko rep was over there showing it to us. Um, just briefly, it has a lot of great applications. It has several modes in it that I'd like to go through real quick. Um, the fire mode itself, uh, 
I uh, on the agenda there I attached some little pictures I don't know if they're in color or not I don't know how Debbie printed them out but yep. it, it actually uh, through smoke the particles yeah the smoke particles are so small um, that it doesn't pick up the smoke particles so you can actually enter into a building and uh, see directly in for a search and rescue uh, that's one good point of it the second good point of it is um, that particular model has a hot zone X so you turn that model on to that mode and it'll go to the hottest spot so say I'm outside Todd Fry's house his house is on fire the siding is on fire I hope this never happens but this tool would help <coughs> instead of tearing off his entire sidewall when we roll up we jump out we get the camera we look at it we know where the hot spot is we turn the laser on and that's where we want to go that's where we want to demo so it's going to save us a lot of time energy and destruction of property so that's the fire application mode. Um, it's got an overhaul mode, uh, which you turn on, and it looks for areas that you've already ex extinguished, but maybe um, a mattress or something is laying on the floor and it's got coals underneath of it. It'll pick up those kind of things. Um, that goes along with the, the uh, size up mode. The inspection mode, uh, this mode is used for, say, we're at city council meeting tonight and you all have a ballast that's going out in one of your lights. So you call the fire department because you smell some hot and some smoky. So we come in and we look, we stand around with you guys and we look, yeah, we smell it here, but we smell it there. With that, you walk up, you look at each ballast, it tells you the temperature of it. Oh, that one's 170 degrees. That's the one that's going out. Um, the Walmart has uh, a small one that they use out there that just they simply point it's a laser it points back to them a heat gun but that's the way they diagnose their stuff out there this is about 10 steps ahead of that one um, it has a white hot mode um, this would be used for uh, it's a no color mode so it's used for search and rescue um, a lot of times the fire department will get called out for young kids that wander away um, out to a field or something um, that one's got about a mile range so I can stand I can look point out deer whatever whatever's out there um, it's going to show up on that FLIR. The black hot mode uh, it's a grayscale turns everything that's hot black so I mean if there's just a whole lot of different gamuts that you can use that for. Um, one of the examples that the um, technician gave us Wednesday night was um, they went out to, he was at, he's on the Clay Center Fire Department, they have one, went out to a rollover accident. There was two people in the front of the car, didn't know if any more people were in the car. So they got their flare unit out, went to the car, looked, there was a heat signature in the back seat, they found the guy 40 yards from the accident scene in the ditch because of the heat signature in the back seat of the car. Any questions? I brought some paperwork. I know, Vicki, you want numbers, and I've got numbers, they're right here. The firemen were definitely in favor of this, and um, I think it's really a safety issue. And when they did they, you had that trailer? Right, and, we had an interior burn trailer. And they had it at that point as well. I noticed it has the battery pack as a 12 month warranty since I'm assuming actually, actually no they like I said they just updated that I got an email today it's five year battery five year camera and 10 year sensor if the battery does go out is it, it within five years they give you a new one if it's after five years is it worth replacing the battery or is it like a probably long like your laptop or your That's iPad what I you in front of you it's probably new to newer technology yeah so this is yes ma'am okay so this is six thousand five hundred eighty dollars and eighty-eight cents for that. Correct. And that doesn't need anything else. It doesn't well, need a hundred dollars worth of this. And the reason that I put seventy-five hundred dollars max I is there's it. there's tiers in there of things that you can get for mode-wise. So each feature that you purchase is more money. It, it's not anything that they add onto the camera. It's just programming. Mm -hmm. I haven't had, this was Wednesday, we're here now, I had to get this in by Friday to Debbie. So I haven't had the chance to sit down with the Danko rep and say, what's gonna be the best for us? For me, keep it simple, stupid. I mean, we're all volunteers. When we need to use that, we're gonna use it. But I want it to be simple. Okay, and we only need one, right? You're not asking for one for each Correct. One, fire vehicle? Correct, one of those. 
Just one. Okay. And, and it comes it comes with a spare battery. It comes with the docking station. The unit sets in here. The spare battery goes behind it. It's either a 110 or 12 volt. We're going to put it right in the rescue truck, and it's going to ride in there. Who's going to carry it? Who's going to be responsible? It's going to be in the rescue so truck. The cap, the captain of the rescue truck, will check to make sure and that maintained. Pardon me. That rescue truck goes to every fire call. Correct. Is that right? Correct. Yes. It's a tool truck. It's got the jaws of life and tools and they believed it would be tools. the first one on the scene most of the first time. First responder. Right? That's what they right. talked about. Would be the first truck out there. Does it record or it does? It actually. Uh, thank you. I forgot to mention that it does. It, it records uh, uh, JPEG camera photos and also uh, bitmap video. And with the docking station, there's a port on the back. You hook it into a computer and you just download all that information. Move to approve the Marysville Fire Department's request for an MITICS Argus thermal imaging camera. Not to exceed $7,500 purchase. To be taken out of the fire equipment reserve? Yes, fire Are equipment okay reserve. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 7 0. Thanks, Rich. So, very quickly, they, they also make for utility applications for the like the city employees or the police department i ran this by todd today it's a handheld unit it's not an nfpa certified for firefighting use but it is a nice little handheld unit it's 699 dollars it's Whoa. uh for thermal anything checking buildings windows heat loss from furnaces all those kind of things uh todd ackerman thought it would be handy for them for a quick response if they had somebody run off from them in a car chase or something like that. Yeah, you so. guys talked about sharing that with the police department. Absolutely. And Absolutely. is this in lieu of sharing that, or you still anticipate sharing that with the? No, we'll still. We're all we're all the one city. So I mean, mm -hmm. if I if I call Austin and say that I need a a loader, he's going to call somebody and send me a loader. So no, I don't have any problem sharing. So I thought that would be helpful too in case I need to track someone down. Right. That they would use it. You know, nine times out of ten, if, if they're uh, lost or a missing person, they're going to call 35 of us out anyway and get who they can to go help them mm -hmm. look. But. I'm just curious, how do you, I could see that being a potential theft issue. How do you guys can... This being yeah. a theft issue? Yeah. How do you, how do you protect that? I mean, I mean, other than just the normal precautions, I, I just I, wondered. You know, I, I put $5,000 worth of fire gear on and a Scott mask and go into a building and hope that the buddy behind me is going to stay. So, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a trust There's issue. There's a big trust factor there. I know. Yeah. yeah. With yeah. the men you just hope and women. Not I mean, the, over the years, we haven't had issues of things walking away from the fire department. You know, we do a background history and, and those Oh, I wouldn't worry about the fire. I was, I was thinking just well, somebody... Sometimes. Somebody out happens to, happens yeah. on it. I wouldn't worry about. Well, the they said they was, attach it. So yeah, it's got a lanyard that we can attach to it, but also on power up, it, it has a Danko screen on there now. But it'll have the Marysville Fire Department logo. So I mean, they won't be able mm -hmm. to go in and change that setting. So if they try to sell it on eBay or uh, Facebook or something, no. whoever powers that up, they're going to know who it belongs to. Okay. For ten bucks, we could buy a clapper and locate it. <laughs> there you go. Rich, on our equipment, do we mark everything? Have yes, we do. It? We have a, a, a fire department Butcher. tag that we put on everything. Can't be removed. Everything that can walk off. It's a foil tag, so if you try to remove it, it rips. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? All right. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you, Rich. And when they, they had that uh, seminar, that was a, one thing that they recommended that they get, but that, that our fire department did not have. So I'm glad that- It's, it's almost the industry standard now. And, you know, 20 years ago, these things were as big as a caboose, but now they're all handheld. Yep. All right, thanks so much. All right, the next item is a guard, beer garden request by Joe. It's on page 11. Move to approve Joe Coher's request for a beer garden for the Big Blue Barbecue as he has done in the past. Second. And um, I just made a note that uh, to make sure that the chief just goes over everything with him, just to remind him what criteria we used last year, just to make sure that there's no question because everything went smoothly. I just want to make sure he <coughs> reiterates it. 
Okay, is there any further discussion? Um, Mayor? Yes. Don't we have an agreement for him to sign? I remember taking an agreement to him one year and going over it with him about uh, having to post somebody at this entrance and that entrance. You have to have things was saying it people cannot. Was agreement? Yes. Was it, yeah. an agreement? it was. It was an agreement for in the last time? We didn't. That the, did he sign it? We didn't. We didn't make big barbecue. I, seem to remember, I thought I remembered it being reoccurring if if he just made the request. I don't. I might be remembering incorrectly, but I thought he just had to make the request again, but he didn't have to fill out a new form. If that I was said at one point, the that's true too. Maybe we might want to check, but okay. Well, uh, we, you can pull the one from last year, see if there was an agreement right. for the chief to go over everything with him. Okay. 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 Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Seven zero. The next item is the consent agenda, as requested. It is all listed on page twelve. The requests. Now, did, did, were those requests in the box in case people wanted to go over and I was going to ask you that? They were available. They were available? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So our consent agenda is the items requested from Convention and Tourism. Move to approve consent agenda. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 7-0. The next item is the appropriations ordinance. Move to approve the appropriation ordinance number 3651 in the amount of $285,334.03. Second. And is there any discussion? All right, roll call. Keith? Yes. Bye. Darling? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Price? Yes. Gross? Uh, yes. Schroeder? Yes. Kevin? Yep. Seven. Seven out. All right. Do you like the people that you have, that you gave the first I names did. better than I you did. do the people? Yeah. <laughs> I said we're showing preferential I, treatment I, 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 there. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling bad there, Brad? <laughs> I, I, well, you know, it was the first one that was last name. That is even <laughs> If she used all three names, then you'd be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Actually, name, actually you she issues. pronounced it correctly, so that can you say? Hey, you know that is true. Thank oh. you, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sorry. Austin, you're up. All right, first on the list, uh, North Street Water. Uh, we just had the bid opening um, on Wednesday and Tony Deaver handled the bidding uh, included is his recommendation letter and the bid tabulation and the lowest bid was um, where'd you go uh, Deep Creek construction with 152 743 and as I noted, it was significantly lower than what uh, the engineering estimate was, 152743 And um, Tony went over it, got, a, got actually a, a recommendation or a referral from uh, Concordia and saying that they would use them again and refer them again. Uh, and if you have any questions, Tony is actually sitting on the audience. Yeah. Did they have similar work done in Concordia? Yeah, they did three blocks of eight-inch water line. Water yep. line. Okay. I have a cool. Oh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tony, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tony. Hi. I'm looking at these bids on on page 21, and it's showing um, each of the bidders side by side. I. Uh, the Ingman drainage from Troy, Kansas, their mobilization is $5,000. The Deep Creek construction is 15,800 mobilization. Are they that much farther away from Marysville at Lincoln, Kansas than Troy? No. Um, I mean, it's up, it's up to them what they want to put into that line item. Some spread it out through the different unit prices. Some put everything in mobilization that's extra. Well, it's, just, it's up to them how they want to structure yeah. their bid. Lincoln is further than Troy. Yeah, a little bit. Well, they are the highest on mobilization. I do see a $12,000, but they, 
Yeah, they're the highest on mobilization. That's to get their equipment here. And the other one that I see such a di everything else kind of fell in line. You know, the shutoff valves, the T's, the things they were going to use, the materials. That across the board, they were kind of in line. But down here where they get into traffic control, one of them is $4,000 for traffic control, and one is $1,000, one is $554. What are they talking about traffic control? Are they bringing place in here to run this or what? What do they think they have to do for traffic control that costs four thousand dollars? Well, if they're going to open open trench across every driveway, they'd have to close down more roads. Um, I know Deep Creek feels like they're going to build directional drill most of it, and they won't have to shut down a street. That's their option, whether to directional drill underneath of it or open cut across the street. So they all weigh their, you know, they all look at it and decide what they're gonna, what's gonna be required and what expenses they want to put towards that. And well, could we kind of question them on on their mobilization? I mean, there's quite a bit. It of could be where they have equipment located and they're not necessarily moving it from their. Well, that's the cost of doing business. Could be from right? another site. There's yeah. bonding. There's insurance. There's all kinds of things that it can either be put into mobilization or it can be spread out through other line items. Well, if it's spread out through the line items, then they don't, then you, you don't have a good scope. It'll show no, different, it'll, it'll really jump their numbers up on things like uh, meter pad, if they spread that out. It, it's, so ju it's just how they decide to bid. That's well, why we take it off of the total bid. We don't, well, we can't it, pick and choose which items we want to respect well, who or who negotiates? Not. Is this the number we're gonna, is this the number we're gonna accept? Or yeah. is somebody still yeah. gonna yeah. negotiate? No, this, this, is, this is the negotiations. It, it, they're competing against uh, three or more other companies and they're going to best guess their way down to the lowest bid. Well, considering there's a $5,000 mobilization here and there's a $15,800, mm -hmm. I don't understand why we don't talk to them and say, would you consider lowering the mobilization? That's not ethical. That's well, not ethical. I, I would you let them bid the whole price. deal? They're not bidding just one yeah, product. You have to look at the whole number. Yeah. Well, what I'm talking about lowering the bottom line. You have to think you about it. If they are $80,000 less. That's they're eighty thousand dollars less than hundred and two, and then they're fifty some or quite a bit difference there that's too. True. See? That's true. That's true. But they, when it comes in sixty thousand under that's 10, the estimate, I just say hallelujah. Yeah, that's yeah, no <laughs> good. <kidding. laughs> yeah. I don't, Vic. I mean, really. You know, I mean, the bottom line is what what, what I see we the bottom pay. line, but I, I just think that there's more to be garnered here. In, in negotiating this. You, Did anybody negotiate this or they just offer you a number? They say, here's what we'll do it for. And nobody goes back and says, well, uh, this this number seems a little high. Would you yeah. consider there, that? There's no negotiation. You, they, All the contractors get the same plans and the same documents. Yeah. Scope. And they all put a bid together based right. on how they evaluate that project will go. And you and never go it. back and talk to them? Nobody ever has no. No, 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 no. It's a bid. It's not the way it works with bidding. No. Uh, it's that's that's not an ethical way to treat contractors. No. Right. You you. I, I've always done that. Always gone back. Yeah, and talk we're, to but them. we are in a different we're venue here. Palette. We have to we have to treat everybody equally, and this is the most equal way you can treat people. You give them all the same information. They send you their information, and we go. Here's our lowest bid. Can you do this as you instruct, uh, as fairly or not fairly, but uh, in a quality manner? Then yes, you got. Do you the negotiate bid. on a car? If we're buying cars, do you negotiate on a car? We do the same process with the cars. We get the bids. We do the same process with cars. Oh man! All right. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Did we have a motion? Approved. Yeah. Deep. Creek construction out of Lincoln, Kansas, an amount of 162,000. 152,743.05. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Come, coming from where? Oh, coming from water, coming from? sewage, water well, revenue. Water revenue. Water revenue. Because yeah. remember, our water revenue fund has a high mm -hmm. balance. We're not taken out of the reserve. Was it, who was my second? Uh, Todd. Right. Todd, second. Very nice. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 7 0. Thank you very much. Next item. Okay. Uh, another bid Airport Apron. Uh, Olson Associates uh, handled this one and it had slightly the opposite effect <laughs> where it was 6000 over estimated price. Uh, but this was handled the same way. Um, the lowest bid. 
was uh, Emory Sapp out of Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, they actually have awards for their work on airports, so there was no, I mean, there was no question that they can handle this project. Um, but the uh, 506,000, uh, 506,562 dollars was their bid, uh, and that 6,000. Diane from Olson Associates was fairly certain, even though it it was above what was expected and what our uh, entitlement money currently is, uh, we would be able to get 90% of that overage covered by uh, by the FAA. So she was fairly confident in that because she stated. Uh, another project which was 150 over, 150,000 over, and the the FAA went and found the money from another airport. Oh, well, they'll probably find 6,700 dollars. I'm hoping so. So that our cost would only be 677 dollars right. over what we anticipated. Right. So I would entertain a motion. Uh, move to approve the the estimate and uh, authorize the mayor to sign the. Contract with Emory Sap for five thousand five hundred and six thousand five hundred and sixty-two dollars. Is there a second? I second it. And is there any further discussion? Discussion? Yes. On page twenty-three, it says the low bidder, which is Emory Sap, was not found on the debarred prime or subcontractors list. Right. Are we concerned about that? They're not debarred. They're not there. From the contractors They're list. They're not found on the. I get it. Okay. Yeah. Then the. Um, they said they've done concrete payment on several Missouri and Kansas airports. Um, did we check on that or we're just taking uh, Diane's? They're a well-known entity in, they, in the airport construction business, yes. No, I've never heard of them. Not that I know anything about airport construction like that. Okay, thank you. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Seven no. Taking this out of the same fund. This is well. We've been doing it at an industrial. Is it still coming out of there? They will. They, we're at our limit on industrial, yeah. and we'll get grants following once following all this paperwork. So this is airport development. No, this is coming out of the industrial. Industrial, anything still, we need. But we, we, it's not a reimbursement program. We only have to come up with our ten percent. Yeah, and uh, we we submit our documents. They will pay us for it. Okay. Yeah. So. So excuse what, me. what's our balance in the industrial fund? You know. Um, you have the financials? I did not bring them. So, it, I th Mayor, so we never have to really pay this. We'll only be paying 10% of it. Uh, like we're not get, paying it and then being reimbursed. Right. right. We don't like the... 50000 is our... The cling project, we have to have all the money and then they reimburse us. Okay. But the, this one, we, they submit all the bills and we have to have to pay our 10%. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which okay. we've already done quite a bit of that in engineering. So okay. it's, And that's covered under the, the grant. So you think that you think um, we have money in the industrial fund to to get us started? Well, I think we have forty thousand in there. I'm not positive though. You've been looking at that industrial fund, watching it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because because we're gonna have to come up with fifty, right? Right. Well, and I think we have pretty much hit well, fifty. We've already paid so much of the engineering fees that they haven't because reimbursed no, us. No, we've not reimbursed us a dime. Have we, we submitted it to them yet? We can't until the bid we can't until we're. I don't know why we're not. Yeah, we gotta go. We have to get through this. This is, the, the, this is the bids are done. Right yeah. yeah. When the bids are done, we can submit some of that engineering right. yes. money and get yeah. it back. Yeah. And all. Um, did you all? Who got authorized to sign? Carl. Okay. You'll have to sign the documents in. Okay, and um, so industrial fund, everybody good with that? I just wanted to make sure I was getting in the right place. Yeah. Well, we need to document that. Since well, if it's all part of it came out of there, if it all doesn't come out of there, then the auditing gets a little fun. strange. You know? Yeah. She doesn't like that too much. All right. Uh, third on the list was the crop dusting agreement that Craig wrote up. And really, I know there's some changes that need to be done to this uh, and I can talk those through with Craig um, if there's quite a few that you have I would like those submitted to me so we can I mean that's because uh, I think there's going to be quite a few I, I just had a, um, a list of them. yeah I was going to send these around okay. you want to see what these were my changes most of them were just typos and things like that 
or the, a word omitted that was kind of crucial. <laughs> no, I think we're going to be short there. on this side. One more. Here we go. So these were my changes. Um, you know, some of the words were wrong. Some some of the words needed to be changed. And there, mine were typos. I had some major issues with the rights granted to the leasee. Number three? And number three, like uh, item B, the right to store chemicals for aerial application on the airport areas designated in writing subject to all regulations pertaining to. I don't think they ought to be storing any chemicals on our airport. Uh, then item C, the right to load offload chemical from aircraft trucks by any approved means of conveyance of chemicals on the above described land at such place as designated by the leasor in writing. I'd ask uh, Austin if we had that in writing or we don't. And then E, the right to park vehicles and trailers in such areas as designated in writing by the leasor, which is necessary in the carrying out of aerial application. Oh, the right to clean and purge aircraft tanks, vehicles, and may and uh, many may other equipment on the above premises at such a place as designated. We don't have any place out there for them to wash or to wash an aircraft or purge their chemicals or anything out of the tanks or out of their out of the plane. Mm -hmm. We don't have drainage. So we can we can get rid of that. That's fine. I mean that's that's what I'm saying. Is if you we need to streamline this a little bit better. Yeah, that all um, has to go. Well, they can't well, all, a, they're all, they're all, they won't be able to operate. <laughs> they, they didn't think that, all they think they're going to do is fly in, park it, fill, fill up, fly off. And I think that's the storage side. I mean, they've got to yeah. be filling from something. They are, well, the storage, they said they were just going to drive a truck in and, and when they, they were done. And, and the trailer out. won't stay. So I've seen some of, I mean, in Fairbury, there was a trailer parked actually along, I went, it was in Fairbury. Oh yeah, that's right. There might be, but we do that's have something in our ordinance. You can give them the right to do it in this contract. But, um, I got to remember that, but uh, we can, um, we can iron all that out. Well, what, what, wait a second. What, I guess when the heat came and he was going to have a crop testing business, didn't you think there was going to be any chemicals involved? Well, I didn't think they were going to purge them and dump them out on the ground or leave them with us. Well, no, they're not, there's they're not, not supposed to be on the ground. Clean and purge tanks, vehicles, and any other equipment on the above that premises. That is what they do if you don't have a holding tank. They purge it. They he yeah, didn't, he they didn't think he was going to bring that pad anyway. He said bring that pad in. So it spills. I mean, yeah. they're, they're but probably... But they have to have a place to... They're liable. Out. They understand that. Well, if you're assuming that that's what they're going to have, it needs to be in writing. This has given them the this has given them a lot of rights. But but see, the lessor is the city of Marysville. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's giving it's designated by us. Okay, that's why I'm saying. Well, I know I'm just saying. So we're it. not giving them a lot with of rights. With our permission, we're, we're, we're saying we say with our permission. So we have to give them permission. So is somebody going to stand out there but and see if they? We do still it? have to have it in writing uh, in the agreement. Yes. And this agreement says that we get to tell them what where they can and can't. Okay. So that's a good thing. And I didn't see anything in here if there was a violation. Uh, there should be some fining or so we we gotta have, we gotta have some teeth. This is you shouldn't have done that. There's nothing. We have nothing to enforce this. Well, we have the bond on number five. Yeah. And if they don't have a bond with us, they'll have a bond with the state, which is in C. Okay, well, I'd like to see that. What is the consequence if there's violation here? Well, we can terminate the agreement. Like so that's well, simple. We still Ter have terminate it, not have them back. Chemical but we still have chemical well, spill on yeah. our yeah. And then that's, that's, where, that's, where, the, the that's where the bond that's comes in. Bond. If you have if enough secret bond. Reparations, yeah. 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 And then EPA yeah. would have to come in. Well, we get we get to fill. Well, we get to fill that in. Yeah. <coughs> All right, so we're not even thinking about signing this thing yet, right? No. Okay. Thank you. So all, all you're concerned is that we specify in number three where they can and can't do this. So they'll have to come in and make we'll a have proposal to, make the right, to us. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll have an addendum or something to specify yeah. what we... I think, yeah. That's, we'll, that's probably what makes sense is once we decide with that specific crop duster what we want, 
and I have an addendum in writing exactly where we want it. Yes. Is this the question of the second crop duster who wants to be here or the first? We're going to tr no, this is the first one. This and the, first. Then the second one just came up and asked if he could do it. So, uh, do we have two enough space up there for two crop dusters? Well, they're not, pad they're not trying to park overnight. Uh, and that's only if they have enough work. Actually, the second one said they don't want to park overnight. Are you at liberty to say who the second one is? Uh, they just started a new uh, crop dusting company because they left their old crop dusting company. Okay. Uh, I don't know what they're calling themselves. So uh, if they're not going to park overnight, they're just going to load chemicals that they Basically, park. they fly in an empty plane, uh -huh. uh, have a local supplier come in, s fill them up, use some of our water uh, as long as we ha have the safety equipment in between our water and, and their plane. And then they mi basically that mixes it up and they fly off. And they can service more areas more economically and yeah. more airports they can <coughs> land and fill it, out. it uses too much fuel to fly in. <laughs> full. And they can't carry as much chemical if they're full of fuel. Exactly. They won't have a storage building, correct? I would be okay no. with so that. So they're not going to have chemical here. They bring that in on a truck just like they load the sprayers that go through town all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Although the, the, other, the other one wanted to go overnight, though, right? And keep oh, it here for the season, only, right? I bet no, an empty only, plane. Only, only if he had enough work. To like, if he need, if he had days in a row, that's the only time he'd stay overnight. Oh, okay. Well, then they would that's one out of Fairbury. Huh? That's one out of Fairbury, correct? Yeah, that first one's one out of Fairbury. We're gonna deal with these people. I think we we cannot second guess them or speculate. I think it needs to be in the contract. If they're gonna store a piece of equipment here, if it's gonna have gasoline in it or it's gonna have oil or something in it, then we need to figure out a designated area. Mm -hmm. They can't be anywhere near any of the other planes. Uh, I, I, I just think there's a lot of work to be done on this. And also, when, I, uh, when, when is the construction going to start on the apron? That's a good question. Because uh, I, the, I mean, F I mean, the, the FAA, FAA the FAA is running really slow this year <laughs> um, for some known reasons, but. Um, uh, I would, it was suggested to me that I should prod some, a senator or a representative along to see if we can uh, get it going faster. Hmm. State or federal? Federal. Hmm. No, they've been having troubles getting from bid to construction. Well, well you know, the U.S. representative was just here. I, know, I, miss, I missed him, too. But, uh, well, I did thank him for his FAA money. <laughs> I told him that's I told, the, that's the other I told thing I, we couldn't have the airport we have without the FAA the, money. That's the other thing I need to tell him, because that, that grant program, this grant program actually runs out in September or something like that, and i got to tell him to re-up it. So, do we have to have this project done by September? No. Uh, no. The funding isn't continued Well, yeah, day. it's... Um. These people are going to use that apron. It'd be better if we didn't, if we let a year go by or get a year under our belt of dealing with these people on the old apron before we tear it up and put a new one in and then let these people use it. Well, we're not going to start huh? the process of the apron. No, but I'm just saying there's a, there's a plus. If they're not going to get around to it till September or whatever, mm -hmm. then they would have, we would have had a whole season of spring right. to see if these people are. Oh, so we don't want to proud them too much. We didn't want to do <laughs> then you have a conflict of these people trying when to. When is the busy crop dusting season? I have no idea. What month? Depends on what they're spraying. They, they've already done quite a bit because they spray alfalfa and that and they've Things already ran a bunch of chemicals right now they're spraying wheat fields. Fields. Yeah, yeah, well, wheat fields and they did uh, kill down. So will most of it be done by July? So yes. well, there, there will yeah, be will. hardly any spraying done July, but maybe August. August, yeah, August, so August they'll come back. The, spraying the one out of Fairbury does, was saying he was going to do a lot of fungicide. And that's soybeans. his main, yeah, his main thing was fungicide. And when is that? Uh, when would that be? Well, that's before August. August. That'd be July, wouldn't it? In July. In July, July mm -hmm. first of August, or right around that time. And so then right after that, a lot of times they'll fly in and do um, cover crop. They'll do um, beets. They'll put beet seed out and that kind of stuff that people pasture. So they'll mm -hmm. do that after harvest. That they'll come in and fly and put seed down. You know, the, the bid we got, we just approved, there's no uh, timeline on that. It's only good for so many days or anything like that, is it? No, it's, uh, once we turn these in, we can, I don't know if there's an end date on it, but there's, uh, this is basically the starting point to get the clock going for us. Okay. On those grants. 
So, are, are we okay to make these typo errors, corrections, and, uh, and I'll talk some more with with Craig about it. You can it. tell him our concerns about number three. Yes. And if if, if an addendum seems appropriate, when we have a specific cup yep. sir, is that all right? Yep. You guys okay with that? Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. I also would like, you know, they put in there that they take their empty boxes or empty jugs with them instead of using our trash dumpsters mm -hmm. for that. Not a bad idea. Trash. I don't, think we have, I don't think we have any trash dumpsters out there, though. We don't, and most of them do. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times they fill out of bulk containers mm -hmm. that are on trucks, but you're well, right. the ones in the metal cages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But you're right. So they take their boxes and don't burn them out there or something. Oh, yeah. It's a good idea. You don't want to burn them out there. No. <laughs> okay. Is that your last I think item that Austin? was all I had. Okay. <coughs> um, I was going to ask the time frame of the crosswalk project. Do you have an idea when we're going to do that? That is bidding in September. September? Yes. September bid. Yeah, but we have. So, man, they're going to. They're gonna, we won't get that done until after school starts. Well, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's okay. When's it going the construction is still going to be going on until January next year, right? February. The new school. Uh, yeah, school. at least. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so I guess that doesn't matter. matter. Construction and construction. Yeah. Right. No, they're in the it's same. All yeah, it's all construction. It's all construction, but they have, we have all our end into KDOT, and they're just choosing prioritization of reviewing the documents because they're... Yeah. And another thing, we don't, we don't lose that money at a certain time frame. Okay. No, we're, we're in there. All right, and uh, you mentioned it about the pool and the highlights. The pool is okay now. We both swam okay. this. Yeah, <laughs> we, it, it's it's fine. Uh, we still we're still waiting on a part for the pool uh, to come in. They said they overnighted it and then it came in. Uh, so we're waiting on a sensor for the chlorine to come in. But we've been monitoring the chlorine. Uh, chemicals are coming. Should be coming tomorrow. Uh, we're low on acid and. We need to put that in there. And then on the sweeper repairs, you made a note that there's additional repairs. Yeah, the uh, sellers said that there that they there was additional repairs outside the ones they outlined, but they thought they weren't associated with the fire. Well, uh, the the repairs they outlined uh, did we not exist before well, the fire. They didn't exist before the fire. Uh, some of them actually sellers had worked on previously uh, to fix and they got them fixed and then uh, the other ones um, we wouldn't operate the the street sweeper if those were in existence before like it wouldn't stop well so are we negotiating with the insurance company I told I got the insurance company's attention and they said um, they're talking, they're, the adjuster is talking with sellers about it, um, trying to actually figure out if they were indeed a part of the fire damage. Um, and if they were, a seller or uh, the insurance company said they would pay for it. It was running fine up until the fire. Right. Yeah. So, so I can't see how there can be that much wrong with it that the fire didn't cause to it. Yeah, I think everything related to it should be due to the fire. Well, it's kind of weird that they yeah. kept telling you, well, we're going to have it done and we're going to have it done, but yet there's still these repairs that did, they didn't do. That's no, I, yeah, it's it's not exactly the ideal process, but um, they're working on it. Right now, the insurance company is trying to iron it out with sellers. And like I said, if uh, the insurance company said if sellers will tell us that's part of the fire, they probably fix it all. Okay. Maybe well, we, we need, need to encourage a insurance company. Yeah. yeah, we need to encourage that with the insurance company. <laughs> to go to commercial. Sellers. <laughs> and then the last so. thing is, you know, you mentioned about um, a TA grant. Uh-huh. And, the, and um, you know, this whole 7th Street North, like the trail coming in, you guys know anything about the time frame? Like, what is the time frame? I, and they haven't come to the city to ask for anything. And in this grant, I don't it's know what fun. grant time frame. What's the time frame of this grant money? They want they want applications in by July seventh. For for what year? The July seventh for what time frame? Uh, they didn't say. I all I've been getting is a couple of emails from different engineers saying they would like to write our grants <coughs> for us. Uh, and so it's they want the applications in by July 7th not exactly a lot of time um, 
and uh, the drawback on seven on anything dealing with the trail is we still got to nullify the the agreement between us and UP on 7th Street if we're actually going to design Well, something. even if we want to do something along um, 7th North Street. 7th, north, north of Calhoun. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, if I we need to that. do work on that, I, we I need to find out. I think the trouble is, and I'm not, you know, I'm not intricately involved with the, the Marshall County Connections, the trail group, but uh, there's still an ongoing negotiations with Union Pacific. Those wheels turn extremely slow. But you slowly. should at least call them and say, is there anything we should be planning for that we need to get, we could apply grant, because we hate to lose grant money. Mm -hmm. Right. And they they haven't been very forthcoming with us what they expect from us, so they need to kind well, of. Well, I think they, they don't want to count any chickens before they hatch, exactly. and they don't want to ask for something so that it looks uh, like they didn't follow Charlie, through because they're I got stopped today by, by Charlie Fredericks, and he said, uh, Dr. Brown's going to come and talk to me sometime. Okay. The, and like like Todd was saying, the wheels are moving. Really and, and it's hard to count on anything. And well, that's why I asked what the grant period was from. You think it's for a year? So July seventh would be for I don't, 2018. I, I can't. I can't vouch for that. So it's why don't you find that out? So if, what time if, period? If you don't hear from Dr. Brown soon, I would say I'd, I mean Just maybe call. reach out to him and see if. Tell them that we're this is an opportunity, and if they're interested, we could talk about it. But my 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 cautionary tale on this is the design time it would take for the for whoever's going to write the grant for us is such a short turnaround. Even if we if we knew all the details for Seventh Street or for the the pa the uh, the trail, would somebody be able to write or design or come up with plans for that? Corridor. Well, I'm not. I'm not even thinking about the street area. I'm thinking of the from Calhoun. Is that is, is Calhoun the one I'm thinking about? It's on the north side of <coughs> when Seventh Street runs beside the airport. Uh, right here's Calhoun. Yeah, yeah, right between there and North Street. If we need to put something in, we're yeah, that's we what I'm talking about. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's pretty narrow. That especially that first block. Yeah, and I don't know if they're planning. Are they planning on coming down Seventh Street there? Mm -hmm. that, that would be ideal. Yes, either uh, or, on or, they, or along. I was going to say I thought they were trying to get up on that high area. It, it kind at of at one point. Yeah, the um, the, the old levee at the base. You can kind of see it because this is, has topographic features. <laughs> comes out right here at the end of the street. The, here's North the actual street? end of the levee. It's just south. If you go up there, there's those diamonds marking the dead end of North Street. And I think it would come out here. And the street's wide enough. I don't know what the master plan would be. Right. It could possibly share the street along there, just marking, or there is a grass strip. It only gets complicated when you get down closer uh, towards Laramie because it becomes narrow. The track's only mm -hmm. 10, 12 feet off of the curb. I did in track, so. So you're kind of thinking it's a next year project? Is that what you're I would, hanging I on? would think so. I was thinking, and this got my wheels turning just a little bit, maybe concentrating on a multi-purpose portion of it, that hump on 7th Street, or the, oh, between the wheels, between the um. wheels. The hump, the Broadway hump, the yes. Broadway hump, and making that really nice. Just that, just do that. That I think might be a little. I want to see how much it would cost to do something like that. That would make it just to undo the hump on it's, Broadway it'd and be make nice it really at nice. some point to get rid of it. But yes, it's a speed. I'll, I'll, <laughs> here, here, here's here's what I'll do. Me and my roads that are <laughs> in disrepair. I'll it's pull a in one of the engineers that have stopped uh, have talked to us because they they do this stuff for free well, uh, to get our interest. You said the TA grant was for pedestrian and biking and so that we could definitely qualify that for right. that. So yes. you can see. Anyway, I just wanted to... I, yeah, I will look into it, yes. Okay. I thought that's maybe why you put it in there, but I don't know. Good. Did you, anybody else have anything for Austin right now? No. Okay, city clerk. Deputy, deputy city clerk. You have anything? Not that I know of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And I... So we'll move along to standing committees. I... Um, Another handout here. Um, can you find the yeah. On the, we talked about um, the street signs, of, and there's going to be a meeting this week on. Um, remember last week she came uh crystal Lisa, came up Mrs. Mm -hmm. yeah. and wanted uh that uh, ch children playing sign 
and on the internet I found this um, reasons why uh, the manual on uniform traffic control devices d does not have them listed and the main thing is those five bullet points in the middle why they don't recommend them so um, I just want you guys to have this and read it before the meeting on Thursday okay. so when you discuss it I also talked to um, the chief about talking about at that meeting uh, the speed bump the, temp the yeah. temporary speed bumps and uh, I you know I told them potentially there on Walnut Street as well as 8th Street they had speed concerns as well as 12th Street you know they had speed concerns so anyway I just wanted you guys to have that prior to the meeting mm -hmm. Mayor what, what meeting are you talking about please, uh, please, please support support meeting, meeting, or meeting Thursday mm -hmm. Thursday at noon <clears throat> oh, well one thing um, I was not here the last the council meeting where it talked about 18th Street and Calhoun and I used that street for about 18 years and I don't recommend any children playing right right in that area um, in the morning when you're headed east there's one point the Sun peeks through the the trees and you're like blind blinded for a second or so mm -hmm. as a driver yes as a driver well, I think those they, it shows those five points are make it pretty clear why we shouldn't do it. But in, the, the committee can discuss that and make a recommendation. Because I was opposed to putting that sign there, I went. Uh, I've spent several days now going up there at different times of the day. I take my book and I sit up there, right near that corner, and and watch. I never saw any children out on bicycles. Uh, Saturday, I sat up there for an hour and only one one uh, car came down that street and that was like at, at uh, around three o'clock and it says uh, the reason that they advise not using it is because it does not give clear and enforceable guidance to the driver and there's no enforcement and I'd made that comment you know about them if they wanted to put it up there that th there wasn't any enforcement involved it's not a speed limit it's not the police can't enforce it because there is an ordinance to support this but uh, yeah, I, I think that everybody should read this. All right, thank you. Do you and do you know the cost for the signs? I mean, do you know these signs? Well, I think that if you read that, it, they're not recommending them at all. There's no. five points why they don't recommend them. So, if you want to override that, I guess you could. But I think once you read the article, you'll it'll be clearer that it's not really probably what we're going to do in those areas okay but it's to be discussed on Thursday um, the only other thing on street um, the highway 77 project we have a timeline on that yet Clink. The, the highway 77 portion of it the one we, for, we did for the uh, the application we filled out no, no, I'm, I'm thinking of clink clink oh, this 36 36 do we have a timeline on 36 the we just turned in all our information for bid and we're waiting on Kate out to waiting on bid yeah and they wanted this didn't bid we have possible. to have that but use that money by a certain date we turned in all our stuff and we're just waiting on Kate out so we won't lose the money right okay don't want to lose the money no they wanted this <laughs> fast as possible so they're reviewing it right now okay yep anybody else have a street yeah a couple of them one um uh, broadway i think all of the intersections i may be mistaken between 15th street and 6th street have uh, they're controlled in some way so there's a, a yield or a stop or whatever on one street or the other with the exception of third and fourth streets down at the end or i should say fourth and fifth streets fourth street being at the corner of cj west mm -hmm. and fifth street being at the uh, el ranchero mm -hmm. and with i know with uh, the new sunflower up credit union going in that'll probably just increase traffic there which is good for downtown it's extending downtown it's all good and the restaurant's busy and everyone's busy but there's been some pretty close calls i mean i'm not one to go saying we should put in more signs everywhere but there seems to be a lot of confusion over which Who street has, has the right yep. of i mean it's whoever gets to who's on the right it's at an uncontrolled intersection well it's the, it's whoever gets there first on the right on the right but then you know both of them are going 20 miles an hour yeah you know who's technically first it just it's primed for issues i didn't know if that's something we should consider 
a placement of yield signs if that's you know i haven't talked to i brought it up at our police and fire i just had a close call there yesterday so crossed my mind but i mean is that something we should consider council think the police and fire committee should consider you want to add that to the committee yeah. discussion i don't know do if that was something that people were wanna, concerned do you want to somebody send out a new agenda to include all three items so people know yeah that's for our notice so it'll be uh, the signs on broadway yeah. and children and temporary speed bumps signs signs everywhere signs, signs. Mm -hmm. children's signs just so they know they cover yeah. what the three things we plan to discuss um, and the only other thing I wanted on streets, um, I know, I think it was probably two years ago now, maybe not. We discussed that it'd be nice to have a, a grinder to grind out rises and concrete or things where we had uneven pavement mm -hmm. because there were some sections that were pretty bad. Um, there's a lot of places where the uh, gutter aprons are much higher than the brick or mm -hmm. higher than the street. It Can we do that? Mm -hmm. I mean, where the, the, the gutter action. itself doesn't look that bad. Yeah. Is that something? I mean, is we don't. Is that something we do? I don't think we've ever done that before, have well, we? Well, that's what I wondered. Is we've we've done it, but I don't know if we rented the equipment. I don't think we own a grinder, do we? we no, not a. We don't have a milling machine. Milling. Uh, that's the word I'm yeah. looking for. Yeah. Uh, you think we have done this? We, we we did at the corner of what Ann and Ninth. There was a section there. No, that's not it. We didn't grind it. We took out that section of concrete and we poured it mm -hmm. because we didn't have a, a milling machine. I don't but it seems like there were places like yeah. this where if the if the curb and gutter is in good shape and the streets are relatively good shape, but the brick has settled along a section and it's sticking up two and a half three inches. To, I mean, unless the, unless the apron's too thin. It looks like a good location oh, to try to smooth out. That's that's one of those. I'm surprised people aren't you know. Yeah, but you know the it won't take the brick out. Depends no, on but the brick's it. lower in a lot of places. The, the apron itself is higher, and there's places well, down place. here where the street, we're the concrete street's not so bad, but it's uplifted. Yeah. Well, if we're just going to do it like a catch, I just thought stuff, if that's something we could be? look at, I I could see us saving some money in the long run and removing. Hazards. I think if we're going to think about more signs on Main Street, those that half block and all those yield signs and those people come flying, <laughs> that's a nightmare. And we've got yield signs where we don't need them anymore because people aren't on Main Street. And that half block, they don't look. If you're coming down Main Street, you don't have a prayer. They come around those corners at the stoplight or the if they come at the there. well or the yield signs because they know they have the right of way. You don't have a prayer if you're coming up Main Street. They're going to hit you. you. It's That's a nightmare. We That half block is, I don't know the answer, but yield signs are not it. <laughs> well, They're I, not it. Well, it's better food, than nothing. Food for, that's food for it's, thought. But uh, well, it it's, is. The, it's the mean, same with it the, the milling. It's, it's kind of one of those. It's a nightmare. The milling thing you can look into. Oh, look look close. Close. I just, it might save us, may save us some money. Yeah. 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 That's all I have on the street. Anybody else have anything on the street? The... Uh, Crack sand looks like it's doing real well. I was going to go so by there. Does, yeah. Have you looked at it? Yeah, I watched them do it. Uh, it took them a little bit to, to learn it, but once they did, they it's it looks really nice. It's gonna it's gonna help maintain those streets that we're gonna uh, chip you, and you, seal. You're on the streets all the time. You, yep. you, know, you know where they've filled them. Yeah, Perfect. looks a big difference. Big difference. Yeah. Starting at 14th and Carolina, uh, Carolina. is where they said to go on Carolina. Outside. Starting at 14th. Mm -hmm. It looks really nice. It, it's it going to do its job. Good. Okay. What yeah, are I got one on the street, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. The stoplight on, on 10th and center, the trucks that are turning to go west from the south. Do we need to put a white, I think we should put a white stripe further down the street like we do trucks going east. So you mean to stop turning stop traffic right, back so they farther. can make the turn. Yeah, because not everybody no sees that and knows that they have to stay yeah. back. You mean to move it south from that corner? Move it west. Move it west. So the because they're turning south. Yeah. So they're turning south? Yeah. No, they're turning west. west. Oh, they're turning they're coming, they're coming up coming south. south. They're coming up south. They're coming up south. That's pretty and clear. And you want them to oh, stop farther okay. south. Gotcha. Gotcha. No, stop farther west. So traffic, yeah. They're All at Austin drop pictures. Okay, so they're going like this. Just like Someone it is on the, the when they turn and, and go east. A turn. But so you know, you right now, people are going to follow these oh, are the stop line. They where they're move. coming across, they the move. people on the west have to be farther back. Yes. To make the curve. Make it like it I is on it. the east side. Right. Yeah. Well, that but wouldn't again, be you have to do. hope people actually I know. buy yeah, it. Yeah, because they don't on the east side. That's one of those things we're having to evaluate right now. Oh. Because I had to go 
through a full light cycle because I couldn't make that turn because yeah, of the intersection cars? right there. Sure. Okay. Did you honk and come back? <laughs> Just sit and wait and keep smile. <laughs> but are, are we not allowed to move that back on our own? Oh, we can. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I think we can move back that up though. And so that's probably include the cars that want to actually turn left and go to school too. I mean, there's got to be something across both those lanes, not. You mean the south, even the the on through east lane? Well, well you're because confusing they me. cannot. They can, no. He's saying you know, you come from the other way, you're further back, just on the the turning lane. But he's thinking both lanes because when you're. Oh yeah, you have around, to have both lanes to make both. the turn. Because it's different than coming from the other side. I got side. it. I see what you're saying. That is a nightmare corner. We yeah. just need to make it bigger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah make the corner bigger somewhere. All right. Anything else? On um, water, wastewater. Can you explain to me on the highlights why you're always testing well number 10 every day? The flow. The flow. It's our, I believe it's our main well. Yeah, well, isn't that the one we just... Isn't that the one that wasn't functioning and then we and made that investment to make it function? Wasn't 10 the one that the mice were eating the wiring? We're going to put the, the, the three-phase in. That was 12? I think we're putting the three-phase to, to, to 10, aren't we? I thought it was 12. Mm -hmm. It's on Osage saying. Road, that's all I know. 12, yeah, 12, we haven't done anything to 12. Yeah, it's uh, 10 is our main one. We want to make sure it's... But is t I thought 10 was the one that we didn't use for almost a year because of problems with the electricity. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But you know what? It, 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 he says it, almost every day he's checking the flow. I can't figure out why. Find out why he's checking the flow every day. And the only other thing is, I, and I, the, this water loss report, I know. I found a, a statement that said we're supposed to have between 15 and 18 percent. Mm -hmm. So, what do we have now? We had 23 at some, one point. This is from the Kansas Municipal Utilities. We're sp average water loss in Kansas is between 15 and 18 percent. So, I would like us to make that be a goal. Okay. <laughs> Go. Because I, what, what's ours? Twenty three. I think about twenty three. Okay. We can make. Well, I know you're busy, but <laughs> you need to, because we're throwing water somewhere, mm -hmm. or we're not yes. getting revenue somewhere. So one or the other. We're either losing water in the system somewhere, or we're not getting revenue somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Parks and Rec. The only thing I had. And this might be more cemetery, but when we do, I, I notice in those um, highlights, we mowed two things. We do assessments on those every time. If we mow oh, yeah. anybody's property, yeah. it's assessed they get charged. automatically. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, that's my job. Parks and Rec, though, did you guys notice the press boxes up? Mm -hmm. They're working on those. On the bleachers. On the on bleachers. bleachers. Yeah. Looks a part of them's up. So. It looks pretty complicated. When it they, is. I stopped by today. It's a they puzzle. Were, yeah. We stopped by to help? Good. Good I didn't have a wrench, oh. so I couldn't help. But I supervised. I no. no, but it was it was really nice. It looks really nice. Yeah. But they're they're it's working away on it. So yes. On par Go ahead, Vicky. On Parks and Rec, I wanted to say how nice that the uh, parks were kept, and the guys kept their wagons going and keeping the bathrooms cleaned up and keeping the trash picked up during the Mother's Day weekend in the park. That park looked nice all the time. They they were busy. They were cleaning. I mean, they they really worked. The crews were working they, the, very hard. Yes, they so. did. I appreciate that. And under recreation, we had a lot of activity at Lakeview and uh, Fell Field this weekend. A couple of tournaments. And uh, I just want to thank Brian and his crews for keeping those in such good repair. They really looked nice. It, it, it made me proud, you know, to see yeah, the conditions. The stands were in. packed, so that was mm -hmm. always good to have that those people in town and then they quickly went to Casey's and Walmart so mm -hmm. we're all excited well, we to have people come visit our community yeah. okay well, the swimming pool the on the last year I don't know if it's ever been addressed the men's showers okay. have not worked in there for at least a year now I think we were addressing all the plumbing issues we could find um, I haven't personally went in and checked the 
the um, well, they didn't work out at the end of last year. None of the showers. None of the showers on the men's. On the men's side, I think you need to fix that, especially since the AmeriCorps people probably use the showers for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, you turned them on. You just got a little trickle coming out. I will double check to make sure we we covered that, but I'm fairly certain. Okay. All right. Moving along, cemetery and airport. We have Memorial Day coming up Monday. It's a list in the kiosk current. It was half up the other. It is. It's, it's just to the end of April. We can't put May in because we don't have that report yet till the end of May. I know, but you have April. April. I, as long I as I printed April's them and the guys were doing it, and then that rainstorm came up, so they had half of them in and half of them missing. But they were going to put was the rest of them there yesterday. Well, they might have had to take them all back. They might have taken them out. Because well, they, they were working on it. Okay, yes, but they but need to be up for Memorial Day yeah, because that was our comment that. last year. Yeah, they knew that. Well, I'd like to comment on uh, the new letters, the alphabet signs at the cemetery that denote the sections. They're, they put some new ones up. They are really beautiful. They're really beautiful. And um, um, I went out to the airport tonight to um, see uh, how many people have visited the airport and to look at that apron situation and the drainage situation if we're going to allow someone to wash off their planes and equipment out there. And uh, there was no drainage, but I went into the visitor center and read the log. Now, there's only been six people in there since uh, February. They didn't have anybody in January uh, that have flown in and have written into the log. And it was all very nice, nice facility, great runway, great taxiways. Uh, One person said bad tower. I don't know what they meant by that because another one also said great uh, uh, That goes VFR. back years and years and years. <laughs> we don't have a tower. The tower to the north of the runway. Yeah. Oh, that, that Blue Valley Tower. Okay, I agree with that. That's bad. That's a bad location there. Yeah, but the um, uh, I wanted to see if anybody had commented on using the car. And nobody had. The car is beautiful. Somebody's keeping it clean. They're keep, the tires are aired up. It looks like a new vehicle sitting out there. But uh, I, I didn't see anybody make comment. And I was going to ask uh, uh, Deb if she was here tonight because it says on there to um, call City Hall for use of the vehicle. And I just want to know if anybody's ever called and asked to use oh, yeah. it. They use yeah. They use it. Well, we do, are we keeping track of, of, uh, of who uses it? Not how many. I mean, we do at the time when they get it. They have to give us a tail number. Well, don't we keep a don't we keep a log of who used the vehicle? And the sheriff's department keeps it when we're not here. I saw that. And out there, I did notice it says uh, use of this phone. You have to dial nine to get out. I didn't see a phone out there. Did we take the phone out? Probably. Do we still have a landline out there? We no have, we we did. No, I'm sure there's still a landline. You can only dial local. Well, there's no or handset. 800. Yeah, it tells how to do it, but I couldn't find a phone. Yeah. I didn't see what the phone was. So just to see. Last day. Phone. We make it a little bit challenging. Uh, I mean, they might have. Okay. But, you know, on that question, should we at least like at the first of the year check the mileage and at least know how much many miles D- are? Dale, wa- Dale is the one that keeps it clean, keeps the oil change, keeps the gas. In. Okay, so he is. And we, oh, yeah, yeah, when we put fuel in it, Perfect. it has to go through our fuel system down here. It has a number, so unless somebody else puts the fuel in, which they're supposed to do, but right. you know if they use it, they're supposed to refuel right. it. But good. Yeah. All right. Oh, excuse me, may I say something else about the airport? The name Marysville, it's on there, it's done in red, and it's on a white background. Mm-hmm. Uh, the red is fading, and the white is chipping off. Right. So maybe sometime we could refresh that After sign. the apron. I mean, we should put it on the new apron. <laughs> yep. Excellent idea, Todd. Yeah. Thank it's you. Austin's idea. Thank you, Austin. <laughs> I think we talked about that when we were out there, didn't we? Yeah. Yep. That's not covered by the grant, though. Yeah. No, we didn't. <laughs> Okay. Council member. Volunteers. All right. Police and fire. Do you have a wellness report? Chief said he was waiting for it. We're still waiting on that. Okay. Because she was working on it when you asked us for it last time. And Okay. So later? Oh. Yeah. All right. Under and I'm sorry. Under police, police and fire, I just want to say that we went to uh, Topeka. I'm sorry. We went to Overland Park for the Valor Awards for James Kern and our police department as well as our sheriff department. And I just want to say... It, it was a very honoring and emotional ceremony to see hear about what the police officers do um, <coughs> and you know in protecting us and three men had lost their lives in the line of duty and have their families there it was a 
it was a tough ceremony. So um, just grateful that uh, James Kern handled and the police department handled it so well. And the sheriff's department is also recognizing that same event. So this, we have a great law enforcement around here. Yeah. Speaking of that, I might as well say this now. Um, there was a, a police officer's day on May 15th. I found out about it yesterday. So yeah. there you go. Um, but it was talking about, they had a model pro uh, proclamation, but it's one of the ones that to me is important. It says, it is important that all citizens know and understand the problems, duties, and responsibilities of their police department, and that members of our police department recognize their duty to serve the people by safeguarding life and property, by protecting them against violence and disorder, and by protecting the innocent against deception <laughs> and the weak against oppression and intimidation, and that they provide a vital public service and they preserve the rights, um, they preserve the rights and the security of all our citizens. So um, I wish I had known that before, but thank you, police department, for all that you do to protect us. Can I say something yes. on that line? Um, last week or this week in the paper uh an article i was in there about the uh, click it or ticket and that uh, i think it was chief ackerman made the quote that they were serious about that and i can tell you today they're serious about that <laughs> did you get it <laughs> i didn't get it but every time i went up and down the street today an officer had somebody stop so they're serious about that if you're out driving you better fasten your seatbelt because they can tell and they're they'll stop you Right. I mean, it's the law. I mean, it's people complain law. about that. Don't they have something better to do? But the fact of the matter is, it's the law. If you get a ticket for not having your seatbelt, you have only yourself to blame. And it's for your safety. It's for your safety. Thank you. Right. Since this has been my topic tonight. Yes. And lives have been saved by those seatbelts. So. All right. Admin and finance, the only thing I had, and I don't know if you and I'll be back about the budget workshop. Mm -hmm. Is it scheduled for June 1st? We can schedule it for June 1st. Are you going to have something ready for us to look at by June yep. 1st? Okay, so we'll have our budget workshop June 1st, that Thursday. Yep. Is, it a, is this room available? Do you know? I'll have to look. Um, let me... You'll send an email out to confirm that? Yeah, I will confirm. Yeah, I don't well, it's the Thursday. It's the first so, Thursday. Thursday. Oh, okay. yep. So we should be okay. okay. But yep. you can check and see yep. and send an email out. So uh, June 1st, we'll have our budget meeting for our first look at 2018, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Seven. Oh, we usually have it earlier. Five. Five o'clock. Five thirty. Five fifteen. Five. 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 Let's do five fifteen. Okay. Five fifteen. Okay, Keith. If it's dry, I may not be there. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Should we pray for rain on June first? No. <laughs> okay, so we'll plan on June first. All right. Anybody else have some anything on standing committees? Uh, yes, Mayor. I had a question about uh, the flea market. I noticed that. Uh, Six thousand six hundred and fifty-five dollars had been spent so far for expenses, and I believe you said that there were chairs, tables, rent. That, now that was for the barbecue. That that's for the barbecue. <coughs> yes. But yes. the six thousand that she's seeing is both. They're all lumped into one line. The six thousand, I thought. For the flea market, that wasn't doing the chicken from Chromie. Yes, that's it the was. chicken. And yeah. and oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Well, I think that we we know that we spent we received over eight thousand dollars in just chicken from, dinner just from revenues. The barbecue, yeah. But I don't know. Do you have any idea what our revenues were from the spaces for the vendors? That's hard because a lot of that money came last year. Okay. Um, so we can prepare I something. I can kind of look. So it's hard to tell if we make money or Well, not. you had a meeting about that. you want to share? Well, the meeting was really about... <coughs> just the barbecue? The well, no, it, it, was, it was about it was the logistics. logistics. It wasn't about it was money. About. Oh, okay. It was, it was about what we did right, what we did wrong, what we can improve on next year. Uh, and then we did, the and right after that, we did uh, what, what are we doing for the upcoming barbecue and what can we improve on and so on. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, that's good. But that's one thing I, I know sometimes in the past that they had two lines for people. Uh, one was for people who just wanted to pick up. They're, they're going to readjust the lines after. And yeah. Oh, they did later? No, they're going to the next time around. Are uh, you talking about the chicken barbecue? Yes, at the chicken barbecue. Yeah. yeah, they had two lines, you know, one for if you wanted to pick it up and take it home, one if you were going to stay. 
at the so tent. And I think I think they decided since they're putting everything in the same containers, they're gonna have a section where you just walk up after you've paid and grab your meals, and uh, and rather than waiting in line in the buffet and uh, where they're putting it all in there, I think they have some good we ideas. We never did get ahead though. Right. Well, that's because time. normally there's the chicken is done, the food yeah. is done ahead of the beginning of the thing. This time it was done after the after 11 o'clock and so we got behind because it was we so windy so you couldn't catch up I mean we had you know 12 10 15 all these trying to get right. leaving yeah so, so we never got ahead of the up. game right and, and I know so I don't know even two Tony, lines would have helped that 12 coming one per 12 coming yeah. and he'd be just doing one because he, that's all the, the chickens just got yeah. there so. okay well that there was it was it. I know we waited in line you can go ahead 45 minutes. I heard wow. somebody say sun. that. So we, uh, you want to do a P&L though, just to, to show it the net income from the flea market? Just yeah. so everybody we can do it. everything except for I, getting the booths off. To, that'll be a little tricky, yeah. but it won't be too bad. No, well, just we'll just, estimate, some of that was, might be an estimate. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Appointments. We have Marilee Shaley for a second term on the library board. Move to approve Marilee Shaley for her second term on the yes. library board. Effective I second it. <laughs> May 1st, 2017. <laughs> and she seconds it. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 7 0. Then we have an appointment. No, I'm afraid of a wage notice for uh, Cody Swoboda. Move to approve Cody Swoboda, seasonal help, street department, 11.56 an hour. Second. Is there any discussion? Did Todd vote the last time? Was it 6 0? It's 6 0. No, <laughs> he's, he walked out. Okay, 6 0. I'm sorry. I was just like, we, we lost when he. I wrote 6 0. So, uh, Cody Swoboda, um, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 6 0. And Chloe and Claire Kedney for um, the increase because of their WSI certification. Move to approve swimming pool co-managers Chloe Cudney and Claire Cudney for eleven seventy-five an hour, which represents a twenty-five cent increase for obtaining their WSI certification beginning May twenty-first or as needed. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. So six one. And then um, I wanted to go ahead and approve Elizabeth Baskerville Holden. For city prosecutor, you know we so the the um, elections changed, and our appoint my appointments that you guys approved ended actually in April, and last time we approved the fire department people that were appointed, and I got a hold of Elizabeth, and she would be willing to serve till um, January till the new appointments come out. And also, I spoke with Ken Lamro today, and he'd be willing to serve as municipal judge till the new appointments come out in January as well. So I would um, appreciate a motion to move, accept those appointments. Move to approve the mayor's appointments of city attorney, no, or city, city prosecutor, prosecutor, and city judge uh, through January. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 7 0. Thank you very much. All right, city attorney is not here. Does anybody know of a reason for an executive session? <coughs> All right, uh, for round table, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to all the volunteers that helped with the barbecue. Um, and it was nice to see all our community going through. And then also I have a proclamation for the National Poppy Day that I'm gonna read. <laughs> It's expressing support for the designation of May 26, 2017 as National Poppy Day in Marysville, Kansas and recognizing the importance of honoring those who have worn our nation's uniform and whereas poppies are worn and displayed as a symbolic tribute to our fallen and the future of living veterans and service members. Whereas it, at the end of World War I, the American Legion adopted the poppy as a symbol of freedom and the blood sacrificed by troops in warm times. And whereas the use of poppies sim symbolically comes from the poem in Flanders Fields, which movingly begins in Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row, referring to the poppies that sprang up on the churned earth of battlefields across Belgium and France, where soldiers died fighting. 
And whereas the American Legion family has long utilized the red poppy as its official flower, symbolizing the blood shed by those who served in our U.S. military, and it is fitting that as the American Legion and the American Legion Auxiliary approach their 100th anniversaries, they expand the meaning and symbolism of the poppy, mirroring the manner in which the poppy is symbolically showcased in England and Canada in celebratory fashion on their Remem Remembrance Day, also known as Armistice Day and Poppy Day, and was wearing a poppy will unite citizens from across the country who decided to show their patriotism, and whereas May 26, 2017 would be an appropriate date to designate as National Poppy Day, now therefore it be resolved that the Office of the Mayors supports the designation of May 26, 2017 as National Poppy Day and encourages all citizens and residents and visitors in Marysville to join in observing this day to honor every service member who has died in the name of liberty, freedom, and democracy, while also showing their support for living veterans, service members, and their families. And it says, thank you, Ed Lord Commander and Diane Triller, President of um, the Auxiliary. So, and a reminder of um, Memorial Day this Monday to pay tribute to those who have fallen and so I hope to see a big a nice crowd out there for Memorial Day service. That being said, Keith. Have we amended the uh, full manager's age yet? No, we have to uh, write something up for Have we done what? We got to amend the pool manager or the uh, the the hand, handbook says you got to be 21. 21. Yeah. Oh, okay. And okay. neither managers are that. Yeah. So we need to amend that age. Okay, you're going to do that for yeah. the next meeting? We're going to do that for the next meeting. Okay. Anything else? No, that's good. All right. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Darlene? No. Brad? Which is quick, but, um, the container agreement, maybe that was the meeting I missed. Did we ever, we're still, that's still an open? We're still bouncing that one around. Yeah. Okay. No, the, uh, Craig's still working I on that. I was going to say, I don't think we're bouncing around. I think it's on Craig's desk. He's, he says it's more complicated than we realize. It's oh. Because it's go, we have to amend the ULDC in uh, several places. Okay. But that's we need to make sure he's still following up on that. So right. you'll okay. touch base with Craig. Okay. So, yep. Is there anything else? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, a couple things. First, you know, in light of the, uh, the Poppy Day, um, I highly recommend anyone who hasn't been to the National World War One Museum in Kansas City. If you ever have time and you're in Kansas City to visit it, it I think it's the only National World War One Museum. So it's not in D.C. It's not anywhere else. It's in Kansas City, oh, wow. and it's amazing. I mean, it's a you know, there's not. I don't know that there's any World War One vets left anymore. A lot of there's people, one in New Orleans. Is there really? Yeah. That's you know, it's kind of forgotten that you know what that stood for and the sacrifices, and it's important too to remember a lot of people's grandparents, great grandparents now. Um, but if you ever get a chance to visit, it's amazing, Where's amazing that? experience. It's um, across from Union Station, up on top of the hill. It's that oh, conical tower. I've near, seen near the Crown tower. Plaza. Yeah, but you, I've you never come heard. from the south. It's got a big mall to it. But it is really, really well done. I mean, I've been to the Smithsonian. It's it's on par with that. It's a wow. really neat museum. It's, it's close. Um, the only other thing was, I know the uh, the school has come under budget on a lot of the uh, projects, the construction projects, which is great. Um, and I know that we don't really tell tell the school what to do with the extra money. But I guess my thought from our side, it would benefit the city and us if they maybe wanted to dedicate some of that money towards finding parking solutions. Because that's I always thought that was kind of the missing link with this whole project is it's a lot of good ideas that brings a lot of people, but they're actually slightly decreasing parking with these projects when that's already an issue. I, it, I don't know if, you know, they've been talking about what to do with that additional uh, yeah. money, and, and one of them, I think, was moving that one building or building a Re new building build, replacing and then the have building. parking over there, but I, I don't know if that's going to increase. How I don't know that it do. would, I and, I, and I don't know that I, just me personally, not a big idea of tearing down a perfectly good building to move it 50 feet. I mean, it's just kind of strange to me, but no, I, I'd like to see maybe them put some thought and maybe the city would say we could appreciate that being something we could maybe even help come up with some ideas and coordinate with them to find some parking solutions because I think it'll increase safety and especially since we've worked on the crosswalk project and, and, and ideally this new, you know, 
gym and all that will bring a lot of people but it will it'll it's going to be difficult i mean down there they had the fourth fifth grade track me at the same time as the mother's day market last friday and that was pretty intense i i saw a couple of different council members too kind of trying to navigate traffic down through there it was there was a lot there's a lot going on and if we get that kind of thing regularly which we hope we do i think this would be a good solution to or it's a good good solution to work towards with the school so well, well that lot where they took down the house mm -hmm. they got fenced in yeah i think once when the school is done they're going to put that to a parking lot but i don't know that it'll be that much parking they, they like yeah. to move the egg building cars, that's it inside the new school and take down the egg building for parking also they think they're going to have room for the what's in the they're egg building add on that's that's just they what i heard add on. that's all right now there's, it's all speculation yeah I, mean, I don't know that there's an easy silver bullet it might be one of those where you can get 10 spaces here 20 there and add it up but as it is people i mean i don't drive to the school for things because <coughs> i i would drive maybe a half a block before i got to the nearest parking spot well so does anybody want to go to a school board meeting and just and just encourage them i'll volunteer to do that okay the, it's just an they idea. have that practice so i didn't deal? want to speak for the council yes. well, well yeah yes, and it's good to know that you have a council consensus that we want you to go well, speak to them and i just think it'd be something if they considered it i think it would benefit us and the city i mean you know us as the city and them as the school yeah, a lot does anyone know uh on past the football field i think they used to call that up practice they field. still use they it still use the practice the field for especially track and stuff don't they use some yeah, and they it? practice there too yeah mm -hmm. I mean, they were using our park for the kids to practice in they better be using the practice field but they they took away you know is the new building going to come all the way to where the art building was pretty much pretty, pretty much close. Close. They've got so the footing are they thinking about there. attaching that secondary building to it I don't, I don't know, but that's we'll, what they've been talking about. I, I just heard once when it's all done, secure. Like, it's, it's not secure. Ability yeah. They can't the secure it. In the new school, <laughs> and take down the old egg building, and the, that fenced in area where the old house, that house was, that to a parking lot. Except for that, like I said, they want to attach the egg building because they don't yeah. want the kids to go outside because they, yeah, they, they can't secure them. They want to be able to have stay inside one locked structure. I think that makes sense, though. You know, they, to be honest, they trying to work on security well, i know my daughter got locked in between buildings for like an hour so like we don't want that to happen know. yeah but I, I agree with a lot of people that you shouldn't be parking cars on the highway anyway it's just, it's just well and you have a lot of inexperienced yeah. drivers parking cars and yeah. and kids playing in the park I mean, there's just a lot going on right there well you can encourage them to look at to the consider that. their options mm -hmm. in that way yeah Boy, that we 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 would encourage the them to you know what it's Wednesday. Is it this coming? I was trying to remember. Is it the first? That's why I'm trying to remember which Wednesday it is. I knew it one time off the top of my head, but the school board. Oh, I don't know. There's just not a place. There's no land. There. Isn't it the third Wednesday? Unless they buy out all those houses. It, that's why I can't remember. There just is no place. There just is no land. I could have put it underground underneath the new gym, but that's the opportunity has gone. Yeah, that's true. Then we're not going to start open. open. It's still open. open. It's still open. Yeah. It's still ground right there. Just <laughs> dig it and go. <laughs> is there anything else, Todd? No, that's it. Vicki? I have two things. One is to remind everybody um, to register to vote. Um, we're fortunate in this country that we get to vote and decide who our leaders are going to be, who's going to represent us, but you can't vote if you're not registered. Get <coughs> registered and exercise your right to vote. And we still need some people um, for, um, we don't have anybody running for council member positions yet, so a couple of them are still open. Did right, Denny? Soon. Right. <laughs> they will be open. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd like to... I remind people what uh, the mayor said that uh, Memorial Day is the 31st of May um, at the Marysville Cemetery at 10 o'clock I think so May 29th May 29th May 29th yeah May 29th it's the last Monday it's May 29th sure yes all right May 29th all right <laughs> that is a very moving ceremony at the, at the Marysville I didn't see in the paper this time that uh, about the casting of flowers on the water but they do that at Spring Creek Bridge, south of Marysville. It's very moving. Taps will always, it's very moving. And it's at 8 or 8.15 in the morning. Eight. Is it at 8? It's 8. Okay, it's at 8 o'clock. It's very moving. And I always bring extra flowers for anybody who doesn't have flowers to cast on the water. 
but it's, it's always very moving. And taps at that time, morning in the quiet, it, it, it'll, it'll move your heart. Then, then it goes, I think, 9 o'clock is a, is a service at the Catholic Cemetery. And then from there, 10 o'clock, and I think 10.30 is when the service actually begins at the Marysville Cemetery. And uh, I go to all three, and it, it's, it's, it's a good way to spend your morning. It, it really puts, makes you stop and think that freedom isn't free. Somebody is paying the price for our freedom. We Absolutely. should remember them. We should honor them. And also to say that um, the mayor presents a, a wreath to the mound of the, un un of the unknown soldier at the Marysville Cemetery during the ceremony. And uh, I've been presenting for the city council. It's my honor to do so. And I would like to say any council member who would like to join me in doing so uh, is, is welcome to. They call you up. The, uh, Ron Grower is always master of ceremonies. And they call each each group to the to the center of the mound and they have boy scouts there and they have little kids there standing there holding their flags it's really a moving ceremony and to stand there in the circle and wait and everybody goes at one time to the mound of the unknown soldier and places their wreath it's uh it's a very touching ceremony and and uh, anybody from the council that would like to join me i'd uh, be proud to have them join and and uh, be that part of that ceremony that's all i have thank you denny i have nothing kevin uh, Vicki, would you like to be on Candy Y with me tomorrow? And you can share about the ceremonies, the Memorial Day ceremonies. It'd be nice. I'd love to, Mayor. Okay, thank you. Okay. I did look it up. The second Wednesday is the school board meeting, in case anybody else second is inclined Wednesday. to go. Second Wednesday at 6 p.m. So that will be to the 14th. 14th of June. June 14th. So if anybody's available, Anybody else wants to go. go with Todd. Okay. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. adjourn. Is there a second? All in favor say aye. 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 Discussion. Discussion.